Hello, world! Welcome back to yet another Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Let's go to another planet today, why not? Let's do it. In this video, I'm gonna cover the easier planets to get to, those with near circular orbits. Uh, I'll cover how to get to planets with an elliptical orbit in a later episode. But in this video, I'll head out to Duna, but the same applies to getting to any planet with near circular orbit. Now, we already know how to get to the moon, and we know how to rendezvous, so you guys should know the drill by now. Hum and transfer all the way. You need to get to a transfer orbit, with Kerbin's orbit at one end, and your target's orbit at the other. To time it, we need to see how far we'd be separated from the planet if we launched directly at it. I've talked about this in the moon video, but long story short, after you do the math, you end up with these angles. For Duna, you want to leave when Duna's about 45 degrees ahead of you in its orbit. For Jewel, you want to leave when Jewel's about 97 degrees ahead of you. Since Eve has a faster orbital period than Kerbin, you want to leave when it's about 55 degrees behind Kerbin in its orbit. I think I've gotten a bit ahead of myself. How'd you even perform the transfer? You're still stuck in orbit around Kerbin, that's the problem. Okay, so as we know, for a normal Haman transfer, you want to burn prograde, or retrograde, to start the transfer. The same idea applies here. Since you have to burn out of Kerbin's sphere of influence, you want the direction that you'll be leaving the Kerbin system to be either prograde or retrograde when you're going to a lower orbit. Prograde, in this instance, is not the prograde on your nav ball. It's the prograde for the entire planet of Kerbin. You want to leave Kerbin either going in the direction that it's going, or in the opposite direction. That means you want to start your burn either just after sunset if you're going to a higher planet, or just after sunrise if you're going to a lower one. Remember to make sure the planet's at the right angle. So once your orbit becomes hyperbolic and you're leaving Kerbin's SOI, zoom out to the map view to see the entire solar system. I'm going to Duna here, so I want to keep burning so my apoapsis reaches about where our Duna's orbit lies. You might not get an intercept right away, but that's no problem. Now once you leave Kerbin's SOI, set your target planet as your target. You want to use the information given by the maneuver node system to adjust your orbit until you get an intercept. There's two things you want to keep in mind here. Most importantly, you want to look for close encounter markers. Try to adjust your maneuver nodes to move these markers around and closer to each other to try to get an intercept. Also, make sure you kill your relative inclination at the nearest ascending or descending node. If things are right, you should get an intercept. And with this knowledge, you can easily get to Eve, Duna, and Jewel. If you have trouble, ask in the comments and I'll do my best to help. I'll cover how to get to planets with more eccentric orbits in another video. And there will be videos on arrow breaking and getting to the moons of other planets, so stay tuned. There's also a webpage made by Olex that gives a lot of useful information on its planetary transfers. I'll link it in the below box. I hope this guide helped, and I will see you out there.